people feel when they're on acid, that's probably what happens. Say that again? When I imagine what people feel when they're on acid, that's probably what happens. Annihilation, the ending? Yeah. <laughs> What is up everybody? Oh, lighting. There we go. What's up everybody? How's it going? Welcome to episode 190 of the Jack Rule Show. 10 episodes until another guest. I'm excited about it. Um, Wait, what are we at right now? We're at 190. Hence 10 episodes until the next guest. Uh, anyways, today, Justin and I uh, kind of set up something oh, you cool. Did this. I was gone the entire time. I set up something kind of cool. At least I think it's kind of cool. Uh, let me show you what it is. So everybody, today I went and uh, picked up some more posters, but this time I didn't just get yellow, red, and blue. I also got green, and then in the background, you can see a little bit of orange right there. Thank you, Justin. I got these colors to kind of set up a, uh, a, a little studio in my room. So let me show you how this works. We have our subject right here, background, a lamp right here that gives them some fill. There's this light here that I can toss this over to diffuse it some. Right now, I'll just leave it open. This light over here, these in the background. This top light's providing a lot of the fill. And then, of course, there's this one back here as well. So we have a bunch of different light sources, all going on our main subject right here with the background. Whatever color we want, that we can take those and hang them up right here. So essentially, it's a multi-purpose, kind of just a shooting rig, I guess you could say. I don't know. It's a photo shoot area. Photo shoot area. That's it. It's probably an actual name for it. I'm sure there probably is. But for now, I'm gonna see if I can mess around, take a picture for Justin real quick. So, after looking at the photos, um, this is what we come up with. Now we have this picture of Justin with the green screen in the background. I think it looks pretty nice, but once we add some colors, we can change it up to that blue, and then, bam, look at that smolder. <laughs> Ooh! Smolder. Never heard it, never heard it used in that way. Before, after. Before, after. I think that's finesseful, don't you? Finesseful. Ooh, wow. Color correction. Wow. Everything looks yellow. But yeah, I think it looks gorgeous. Not just because it's Justin, but I think that's a great photo. Earlier, when I set this up, I actually took Joey and Hunter's photos. So here are some of their little screenshots. Um, I think they look phenomenal. Tell me what you guys think. Just so some of these, like before, after. So not much done there. Then we get to one like uh, this one, for example. So here we have the before and after. Bam! Just look at that difference. And I didn't do any Photoshop with the glasses or anything like that. That's just like that's just how they are. Like, boom! Just really brings out the fire in them. Like these glasses, these ones right here. Like these were the ones Hunter was wearing, and they look fire. Literally. So, I love that photo, and then here's one of Joey. Here's the before of Joey. It looks very, very, uh, very dry, you know? And his face looks green. And then, bam, after, and it's just, whoa, Joey. Look at that stunner. Whoa, those, look at his eyes. Gorgeous, right, Justin? Totally. Totally. I think those photos look phenomenal. All with just a simple couple lights and a backdrop from the Arduous Forum. That, everybody, is DIY photography. DIY filmmaking. I love it. I think that looks so great, don't you, Justin? There's nine numbers in a social, social security number, right? Yeah. Okay, it's the right one then. <laughs> well, a lot of the way that I know how to do this, um, have the idea to do this, is because I've been reading this book called Studio Anywhere. A Photographer's Guide to Shooting in Unconventional Locations. My best friend Mason Romero got it for me for Christmas. So Mason, I've been using it and dude, it is killing it. So if anybody's watching this and you're here around Chapman, you need headshots or you just want a nice photograph for Instagram, let me know. Stop by Northmoreland245, um, hit me up on the Instagram DM and I'd love to get you guys some photos. So, woo, feeling good about that. <laughs> Alright, cool, let's go. Joey, where are we going? We're going to the movies to see Annihilation. It's a new sci-fi Annihilation. Movie with Natalie Portman. Looks pretty good. Got good reviews. We're gonna go check it out. I'm excited about it. The trailer told us nothing. Good. I was gonna say, I haven't seen the trailer. I have no idea I have, of what it's about. I have no expectations for this movie, but I love Natalie Portman, so I'm cool with it. I think it's gonna be a fun one. Alright guys, 
What did you think of the movie Annihilation? I loved it. I was absolutely mind blown. The way I describe it is I've never been happier to be confused. That movie, I do not understand it, but I loved oh, not it. not at all. <laughs> I thought it was beautiful. I was engaged. I loved the characters. I loved the story. I loved the, like... Like the 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 situation, like I just I love the creativity of it. I I I'm in love with it. I want to see it again. I want to see it again because I want to understand it. It was a crazy movie, like a good type of crazy. Like we went in there without knowing what at all that movie was, and but I am so glad that we would had no knowledge of it at all. Because mm -hmm. like when we went in there and then when we came out, just mind blown. Yeah, it was good. It was a really 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 great time. Favorite movie of the year. Thus far, then again, I haven't seen too many movies. <laughs> I thought it was interesting. Um, definitely confusing, as Joey said, but it was one of those things that, like, it's a good confusing. It's not a poorly made movie confusing, like Sharknado or anything like that. It was a good confusing. You see that? <laughs> If tough. I was Jake Paul, I would totally just pew, smack that. <laughs> Jake Paul would do that. Wait, Jack Rule Show. Fresh cut. I'm oh, pointing yeah. it out because I want people to think it's a good haircut. <laughs> Don't you think it's a good haircut, Justin? Yeah. Okay, Actually, this is I, a big I really deal. Like it. I used to have short hair, and like today, I decided, like, you know what? I'm gonna make a change. I'm gonna go back to the short hair for a little while, and I like it. Yeah, I it like it a great. lot. Well done. I like right. it. Yeah, that's a good haircut. I need a haircut. It's getting long. So it's crunch. Looking good. I need cereal. Parker? Got snacks. Munch. Popcorn's good. Oh god, don't stop. <laughs> Movie now annihilation movie. Um, let's see Justin what do you think of the digital arts the visual effects part of the movie? I thought it was killer especially they used color really really well And that was a big part of the the world they call the shimmer inside the movie But they had a lot of cool visual effects going on. What do you think overall? There were times where it's like well, I, yes, I will say there is a lot of VFX and for some movies that would be that would be a bad thing but Annihilation did VFX really well, but there there is some shots where it's just like too much, like especially with the lens flares and all that. Yeah. <laughs> like like you you would be they would be in a room and then there's just a lens flare there for no reason. Like sometimes it was unnecessary, but it really made the movie feel like put together really well as a whole because like the entire thing is surreal. The entire premise of the movie is surreal, so the VFX really complemented that. That is very, very true. It wasn't just VFX for VFX reasons. Given there were some times where it was like, you're in why a dark is, room, this is, is boring. Why is this lens flare here? They just added lens flares as many places as they could. Most of the time I enjoyed it, but it did get to a point where it was a little much. Overall, I really, really, really loved it though. But yeah, it was a great movie. Overall, I think I'd give it an eight and a half out of ten. Really? I enjoyed it. Really? <laughs> but it's not one of those movies that like I really really care about, you know? I went in thinking, I don't really care to see this, and I came out saying, I'm glad I saw this, but I didn't really like I'd be okay without it, if that makes sense. I would give Annihilation a nine like a nine or a nine and a half out of ten. It was really well done. And for me who doesn't really take like uh I'm not really a film savvy person, but to me, Annihilation was very well done and well put together and all that. Yeah, it was a great movie. It was great. It just didn't have that, like, life-changing value that I really appreciate in movies. La La Land made me change my life dramatically. Get Out, that's a life-changing movie. I watched that last night, everybody, and <laughs> Get Out is phenomenal. But Annihilation, coming out of it, I'm not really, like, going to change anything about my lifestyle. But that's just my take. If you think I'm wrong, make sure to let me know in the comments. But if you think I'm right... Make sure to let me know in the comments. <laughs> yeah, Annihilation, well done. Well, everybody, that is all for today. Hope you enjoyed the show. I definitely enjoyed making it for you. So, thank you guys for watching, and as always... Wait for it, wait for it, lighting. Hold on.
Go for it. Be awesome. <laughs> and watch Annihilation, it's pretty good. When you can. Hey.